this week has mainly been about Inktober. I think it's like the second or the third week. As the days go, I found myself just getting more ideas or I feel that something just doesn't make sense anymore um, in my previous thumbnails and planning. So I tweaked it. And once I tweaked that, I feel like I had to like start tweaking the rest of the story. And there has been occasions where I completed the picture but I just couldn't help but redo it. After this one, it was gonna be um, the prompt wonder. I put this one on originally, but if you look at my original thumbnail, <laughs> that's my original thumbnail, number 11. I prefer that a lot more, so I have decided to change this. This is today's one. I've decided to not post this one yet and kind of go back to this one and then have it this way instead. So here's the second example that I'm struggling at the moment. I did end up posting this one, but after seeing the other two grids, I wanted to see the toad blowing frost from a different angle. So I am going to be creating this one, but um, after the challenge is done, some images are just easier to let go and others are just really hard not to redo. I think it's like my heart versus my brain type of thing. My brain's like, okay, you got a challenge to do over here. You've got limited time. You need to like get on with it. But my heart's like, no, I need to like fix it now. I think it's the perfectionist side of me. The Inktober structure isn't very forgiving and with limited times on my hands, I just have to remind myself I need to carry on uh, and just let go. It really helps to remind myself that this is a challenge and the approach I'm trying to take is I'm experimenting, it's play. Um, I can go back to those images that I'm not happy later. And this mindset really allows me to ease the pressure off. I've also learned from my past projects that the most important thing is to complete what I started. Um, in most cases, even if it feels uncomfortable, it's just so that I can reflect the work as a whole and figure out what's worked, what's not, instead of having lots of un in having lots of incompleted projects. So last week's video, I mentioned about how I regain focus and um, a little bit about how I'm struggling with time. This week, I found to help me tackle struggling with time, um, I've been waking up early again and to get a piece done before my daughter wakes up. And I know from the past, I am a morning person. So this is when my brain is like most switched on. And I choose this time to work on things that I need most energy for um, uh, or, or feel less secure about. Like I just need my, my brain a bit more. And on days that I know I'm gonna be busy, like the weekends, which I've already mentioned in the previous video, it really helps to batch task work. Um, I draw and I start inking uh, in batches like in the evening and ready to shoot in the morning um, where there is daylight in batches so I'm able to post on the days um, that I know that I don't have time in the morning to create these individual pieces. And by figuring these uh, pockets of time out, I do feel I have more control this week. I'm less precious about it, uh, which means that Inktober becomes more just let loose and still just have fun uh, whilst whilst having the satisfaction of completing the task. I've just got a little bit more to go to complete the challenge we're like past the 20 days now and it feels really good it, it really does other than inktober i went to a few talks um a couple of online uh one actually live uh which i'll probably talk about later but yeah when i attend talks like these i i can 
easily start something new like but then i kind of go back to my one thing i also uh hosted my second sketch club and yeah it was just so much fun i i'm loving every minute of it so yeah that's all i have for you today i really hope you're having a lovely week so far take care of yourself and see you in the next one goodbye